So optical flow is the pattern of motion of objects, images, surfaces, edges, etc. So this is clearly an important topic in image video processing. Um, so much that OpenCV built quite a few methods and features um, around this principle. So the, the most widely used method or algorithm for tracking objects and, and, and motion and whatnot through optical um, flow is the Lucas Kanandi algorithm. There's extensive research, tons of research and articles and snippets found in the OpenCV Introduction to OpenCV book by O'Reilly. If you don't have that book, pick it up. It's a really good book. Um, so what we have here is, is, is a really basic example of optical flow and how to implement it. So the basis, um, to really boil it down, the, the lucas Kanandi algorithm essentially is, is taking the difference of two images, two pixels, two points, right, and calculating, automatically calculating the location of that same pixel in the second space or in the second image. So now OpenCV has created, there, there's, there's quite a few methods that that wrap this functionality up. Um, the three big ones though, the good features to track, CV good features to track, CV fine corner sub picks, and the CV calc optical flow PYRLK methods. Um, so this program that I'm using right now does not use good features to track. Let me go ahead and launch the program, show you what we do. Here we go, webcam is on. Um, so basically I've got my cursor here. And as I click, I can drop a point instead of having good features to track, which would automatically detect the good features to track. Um, I can go ahead and drop a couple points, I'll just drop a couple points around my eyeballs here. And as you can see, as I move, they move with me. Um, this is by no means a, an exhausted or perfect way to track motion or um, detect an object, but it certainly is the building blocks and the fundamentals. So what you would probably want to do, so there are a couple assumptions. It assumes a two-dimensional space. See how those moved up and off my mouth? It assumes a two-dimensional space. It assumes very clear, even lighting. Most image applications do. Um, so what you would want to do, if, as you can see, if I pass an object in front of this, it obstructs the camera and moves those those pixels up and off the screen. All right, so what you would want to do is actually incorporate some sort of image mapping as well. Um, I'm sorry, not image mapping, but rather um, shape detection, image detection, and then incorporate your optical flow, your um, calculation of optical flow. So that's really it. Extreme basics. But I um, hope someone found this quick tutorial, wouldn't call it a tutorial, overview on, on optical flow and how to track objects in motion. That's it.